Hi everyone, it's Phil Frost from Main Street ROI. And today, one of our ad analysts is going to share another Google Ads tip to improve your ad copy. Adding this to your search ads takes just a few minutes and it will instantly improve your keyword ad relevance. And the higher your ad relevance for your keywords, the higher your quality scores. And the higher your quality scores, the less you'll pay per click. So now I'm going to let Riley show you how to set this up. Hey, this is Riley from Main Street ROI, and I wanted to share a quick tip for optimizing search campaigns. So this tip is called dynamic keyword insertion. And the idea is that Google will take the keyword that someone, someone typed something into Google, that's their search term, the keyword that matches for that search term then gets dynamically inserted into the headline of the ad. This is super useful. It's, it's super easy to set up, first of all. Um, but it's very useful because it creates a very relevant experience for people. They see a, a very relevant keyword to what they typed into Google, which indicates to them that this ad that they're seeing is relevant to what they're looking for. Um, this is also something that Google loves because it creates, like I said, very relevant experience for, for everyone and um, helps you with your quality scores for your keywords, which ultimately then means you pay less per click. So there's a financial motive here. Google will will uh, reward advertisers who have very relevant ads. So um, yeah, let's jump into it. This is a, a demo account. This is not a real account, um, but you'll get the idea. So typically, um, you know, when you're, when you're adding keywords to an ad, you'll just, people will just type in, you know, keywords into the ad copy, into different headlines and, and descriptions. Um, and that's still a good practice, but what's also good on top of that is to uh, to to have dynamic keyword insertion in headlines across the board. I have seen improved uh, uh, click through rate by accounts that use this. Um, ads that use this, yeah, just have they have a higher ad rank, higher ad strength, all around higher performing. And um, here's how we do it. So if you're in a search ad and you just click into a headline here, you'll want to type in a squiggly bracket. So that's going to bring up three options. The first option here is what we're trying to do, keyword insertion. So we'll click that. And then we have to add default text. So the default text is um, what you would like Google to say, what you'd like the ad to say, um, if for whatever reason Google cannot use the keyword that was matched for the search term that they typed into, into Google. So, you know, if, if you have really, really long keywords that, you know, they just aren't going to fit in the ad, this is where that default text might show up. So in this case, I just took the headline that was here previously, house painting, and um, I'm going to make it title case because that's my preference. Click apply. So as you can see, it kind of looks a little different here. Um, what I like to do here is that uh, once I've done this, I'll click this little pin icon and I'll put show only in position one just so that I can see these examples here and, and kind of see what it's going to look like. So um, these are these are keywords in the account that are being inserted. Pittsburgh interior painting, Pittsburgh interior, oh, we just saw that one, um, local interior painters near me. So if someone typed interior painting Pittsburgh, for example, and Google said, oh, well, that's a match for their keyword, Pittsburgh interior painting, I'm going to take that keyword and now insert it dynamically in the ad copy. Um, you know, as, as I'm sure you, you can imagine, having a different headline for each keyword is just too much. There's not enough space to do that. Um, and it's really unnecessary given that we have this kind of tool. So I am a big fan of dynamic keyword insertion. Um, as you can see, I, I think the ad was maybe average strength before this. See, you'll typically see ad strength go up by adding, yeah, so average strength, add in dynamic keyword insertion, ad strength goes up. Um, what that means is that Google's Google's saying there are, there are now, with dynamic keyword insertion, there are now more combinations that are available to put together based on that individual auction. And um, that's going to produce more, ad, higher ad rank and um, lower lower CPCs. So. Um, I hope this was useful. I hope you go out and implement this today. It, it'll take you like 30 seconds. 
um, you know, if you only have a few search ads and, um, yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out to us.